good morning good morning it's uh 249 wednesday may 6 2020 i'm on my way to the gym right now you know it's 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 real it's not funny it's it's strange how we as human beings will will repeat will repeat over and over again the things we don't like 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 we don't like to be heavy you know we don't want we, we want to look good in a bathing suit we want to feel good we need more energy but we just won't stop eating bad tired of being broke we're tired of living paycheck to paycheck but we won't take the necessary steps to understand how do you get financial wealth uh, while working a job we we don't like the relationship that we in but it's not the same guy but it's the same situation because we just keep going back and it's so funny how a lot of the things that we repeat have everything to do with the lies or the conversation we have with ourselves. You'll be surprised how many times something will happen in a given day or in a person's given life and they will they will allow that responsibility, meaning the thing that allows change to be given to somebody else and what I mean is if something happens and you say well it was such and such as fault you know you're involved you're one of the parties involved but that was such and such as fault you don't allow the process that can fix that from ever happening again taking root inside of you I don't make enough money because every time I try to save and get ahead, something comes up. Well, that's your fault. Because when you did have those gaps and those times when things were going well and you had the opportunity to get ahead, you didn't do anything to take advantage of it. It just so happens you decide to start your savings plan at the same point in time when your tires were going bald and now you need to replace them all and now that's depleted your account. You start everything at a point when it's already too late. You don't start when you're instructed. We're all given instructions. We all have an internal mechanism that is talking to us. Some call it a hunch. Some, some people call it luck. I call it the spirit. It's talking to each and every one of us, giving us a direction in life to go in. And literally between the time that you're told and a split second later, if you have not done it, then there is a chance that you would have already missed your calling and moved on. And simply put, the power of change Than doing what you know you're supposed to do. You know, my biggest area of, of fault in life was well, not really any area of fault, but, you know, it was finances. It was just not, I was like, God, I was like, I done seen so much money, but why am I struggling? And you ask a question enough, you'll get the answer. And if you bold enough, you'll look inside before you look outside for the problem. I've always been big at just looking inside. How did I play a role in this? What was my responsibility in this? 
because I can't change it if it's something outside of me, but I can change it if it's inside of me. And there's rarely been a case where I've been able to find a problem and not look inside and see where I played my role in it. And God said, okay, well, if you want more money, if you want, if you really want to change, and at that point, the spirit went into action. He said, well, if you really want change, here's what you have to do. And because I decided I wanted to exercise obedience, I was able to take advantage of change while some people still grapple with the same problem over and over and over and over and over and over again.